Welcome back to another off grid family tutorial video learning thing me jobber. Right, this one today deviates slightly from the usual thread of things, and um, this is how to fix a Nexus 7 inch um, power supply. Um, in here, there's a tiny little bit that break, breaks off quite easily, and I think that's what's gone wrong with this one, so we're going to fix it. Now, as I say, it deviates slightly, and that is because I wouldn't normally show this, but as I've got to fix it for my daughter, I'm going to um, sort of record it. But also, people who are living off-grid nowadays don't necessarily have to live off without tech. You know, these are these don't take very much power, and there's so many ways of... Um, charging them now like solar powered and so on that um, why shouldn't you have something like this off grid you know a lot of people use laptops which is fine up to them and sorry if you hear me sniffing I've got a really bad cold and I'm trying not to but it's very hard now these are just a simple click off back if I can get under there I don't want to put too much power on it also I'm going to be a little bit backwards and forwards so I'm actually bidding on some stuff on eBay which I'm hopefully going to be able to share with you very very soon I want to show you all of that stuff as well now inside here we've got a multitude of different things um, for example oops sorry for example this here is the battery and they're extremely easy to um, change all you do is you take it off sometimes it's a, got a bit of sticky underneath it and then under here it's just a simple oh, hang on. a simple thing um, connector you take it out uh, you put your replacement in it slides in only one way and that's an easy job a lot of people are too scared even to do that but I recommend that sort of thing giving it a try over here we've got one, two, three screws. So we take them off first. Now I will always advise to have a magnet nearby um, so you can put all your screws to it. And also take photos before you um, take out like one set of screws. Take a photo so that you know exactly where they all go back in because sometimes screws... Um, connect circuits as well as just hold things together especially in computers I remember years ago I quite helpfully decided to fix a small problem with one of my laptops and I thought I knew everything about everything I'd taken apart lots and lots of um, desktops I thought yeah it'd be fine easy easy and I remember just unscrewing it and suddenly there was just this twang and springs and all sorts went everywhere and in those days they had springs connecting each sort of layer of the motherboard to the next one so that idiots like myself couldn't just come along and break it but you know well so that we can come along and fix it we'd break it that's what I meant anyway okay so be careful with this these are the little baby speakers they're actually quite loud for you know their size anyway now this is the bit we're gonna be replacing let's have a look see if you can see that let's move it over a bit more that's better okay so this sits like this now I'm just having a look making 100% sure we're all there yeah well that didn't take too blinking long did it I've been able to take pictures of the pits on the moon with this camera but can I get it to focus in on what I'm doing no in fact here's the picture over there we'll put it look, look there of the moon look at it Ooh. okay anyway back to work so we need to take this bit of what this bit of um, what looks like shielding. Um, it's a bit of sticky stuff. I'm gonna make sure I put it exactly back where it was because I do not want to. Um, hang on. I do not want to um, leave bits that this looks a bit like it could be conductive. So just in case. We'll put that back exactly where it was. And we'll put it over there for a sec. Watch me forget that in a minute. Right. Okay, so you've got 
some more screws again take a photo at this point if you're not recording it like I am just in case <laughs> Now this may not have actually been the problem, so even when I do all this, we may find out that um, it wasn't this and I bought this part off eBay. It was only cheap, it was I think 99p, it's nothing major anyway. Um, sorry my hands are in the way but there's nothing I can do, right. Let me go and, and have we got a small enough screwdriver? No. Back now. Breaking out the big guns or the small guns, as it were. <sighs> Try not to be completely in the shot. Well, my hand, anyway. One. Last one now. Two. I just thought to myself, do you know what? I don't think I've started. I didn't press play. Well, record. I had, luckily enough. Right. Ooh. Does that come off of here? Yes. Oh, I see. Right, okay, that's that. Now, um, I'm not sure how well you're going to be able to see this, but... There's a little black line here. This actually gets clipped up and that releases the ribbon cable. Now, plop, out it comes. Okay, and now in this one goes. So we open up the back bit. Is that already opened? Let's have a look. Yeah. Now this is going to be very, very difficult, I think. Oh, look at that. If I'd said that was going to be easy, that would have taken me a week. Now, plonk it back down. There you go. So that is now clipped in there. Oh. Oh, we've got a bit... Oh, yeah, because it was all bent down, I see. Right, so that goes like that, like that. There you go. That's fine. And then we need to be able to adhere this to this. That's what that sticky tape was. It wasn't to, it might have actually been to ground it as well, actually, but there we go. All back to, back to it. So, I start off with the ickle screws. If this wasn't the issue with this one, then I do not know what to do. My daughter is extremely cute, but she's... Well, if she was to go into a demolition derby, or derby, she'd be able to destroy everything there without a car. And um, basically, if this isn't what's wrong, I've changed the battery as well. There is nothing I can think of to do you know it's out of my skill set if it's not this so tiny little screw the thing is how how much stuff do you buy for something like this new stuff until you've bought more new stuff than the old stuff in it you might as well have bought a new one the thing is I'm, I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on how to make a charger for these kind of things a solar charger Possibly maybe a hand crank charger as well. We'll see. Don't know what I'm doing yet. Half the time I don't know what I'm doing. Well, I'm coming or going, right. Anyway, so that's that. Now, I need some of these screws. Let's go back to using my nice screwdriver. This screwdriver cost, I think it was about £3.99. And um, I ummed and ahed about getting it. I was like, oh, should I? Four pounds basically is quite a lot for a screwdriver. It's been one of the best little tools I've used. I use it for everything because it's all you know that it's got multiple screw heads and oh, it's been so handy. Right, um, I can't remember which ones went in here. We'll soon find out. Next. 
Okay, and then it's just screwing this back in. So, I think before I do that, I'm going to get a charger and see if we can get this thing to charge. Back in a sec. Okay, so it's time to place your bets. Let's turn it over. Uh, excuse all the sawdust. I'm partway through making a rabbit hutch for my daughter for her birthday present. Well, she was getting two rabbits for her birthday. And um, we went into the pet shop to have a look and came home with two rabbits. So I'm making it in a bit of a hurry. Right, let's see if it was going to charge. Come on. No. If it was going to charge, it would have started charging by now. See, that seems really far back. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to have another little look, see what I can do here. Mm -hmm. Glad I didn't put it all back together. Oh, that's another thing about to die. So many things with batteries nowadays. See, that looks like it's charging. Yes, it is. So, now we have to decide what we're going to do. Because that doesn't fit in there, you see? Let me turn it over and see if I can get that on camera. When it's down and screwed in, it's hitting the backboard. So I either have to decide whether I'm going to cut a bit of this or make a custom charger for it. Right. Hmm. The conundrums. All right. Well, let's screw it all back in, uh, and then we'll decide. Oh. Decisions, decisions. Can't bring it forward, can we? No. I think a custom charger, all it needs is a bit of stuff taken off of it, rather than changing her nexus. But I'm going to have one happy little girly. So one, where's the other little one? Two, I used to have a big battery and it was, I'd made it so that all of my bits and pieces as I took them off would go into it uh, like onto it um, and it just disappeared one day you can buy the um, the bowls, the magnetised bowls some people think they're great, others don't like them because you know magnets next to certain things will break them but I found it's a lot harder with magnets to break things than people make out but now I've said that probably going to find that this is completely wiped and you know, you can't do anything with it, but we'll see. Okay, let's have a look. Do, 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 do. I don't know why, but I'm saying okay an awful lot today, so I do apologise. Okay. Get over it, yeah, good. Um, where does this go? Have I got it run the right way? Yeah. Do, 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 do. Oh, I see why that was up. Right, okay, and, oh, and again. Yeah, I'm missing a screw. I thought I was. How was I missing a screw? Considering I've, um, been sticking them down as and when. Um, been magnetising them. Oh, I know what I'm talking about. It's not like I'm recording it or anything. Oh. Right, one second. Sorry about that, my wife came home, so I had to 
go down and let her in. She came through the other door today. Uh, let's have a look. No, that one won't go there either. So where the hell did those go? Check all screwdrivers, check all heads. Uh, loads of screws around the house, but I'm not going to bother. It's fine. All right, let's just have a look to see if there's any here. No. It's weird that that's just slightly different. Everything else is the same. Okay, so let's stick that down um, that way. Right. That should be held there once it's put together anyway. Now, I will just show you. If you have a look, here, 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 you know, around. These are gold, um, not gold, but they are, well, they might be actually, hang on. They possibly are, or copper. But um, they correspond to bits and pieces on the board. If they're covered in, for example, sawdust from a rabbit hutch, they will not, um, they won't connect up properly and you'll have all sorts of issues but um, there's that yeah it's slightly slightly bigger as well let's just have one more check now that the lid's on that it won't just poke back there I doubt it will let's have a look no it's not oh It just fits, but not enough to even stay in there. Let's turn it off. And I will bodge this about. I'll probably cut off corners and see, you know, see. But the, these aren't held on very deep, you see. So we're going to have all sorts of issues. But I'll be back in a minute with, with hopefully a working bit. Okay, so we've now um, shaved off just, you know, the corners and the excess bits of stuff. And this is the moment of truth. Let's see if it will charge. Come on. Oh, okay. Now that'll be my daughter's happy days. There we go. Perfect. There we go. So there we go. How to um, change over the charging parts for the Nexus 7-inch. I hope this was helpful. Bye.